Hi guys, John with you again and it's time now for another quick update on this little uh, Panzer Sparwagen P204. Uh, it's a little Panard uh, armoured scowcar and um, the last time you saw it I had the uh, just the interior finished and uh, I had weathered and everything else and because I used white spirit in the weathering process sometimes it can uh, affect the to me extra thin glue make things fall off so I let it dry overnight just to make sure that nothing really happened it. but instead of working on that what I did was basically I got everything ready then for my work for last night and what I did was I cut all these pieces off the sprue to get it to this stage uh, this stage being um, the, 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 the main part of the vehicle done minus the turret which uh, I'm going to get started on this evening so we'll have a quick look at what I've done. Um, we start with the top and then we'll go underneath. We start with the front and we walk to the back. Simple as that. So starting on the front here, we had this one piece here. Uh, fitted on easy enough. There was two pieces then to go onto that. And these uh, little cowling sides here. Now, I had a slight bit of difficulty in the fit in this one here. Um, if I just bring the light that way and have a look. No, I'd say again it was uh, me more than the kit, um, but a little, tiny little bit of filler in there, or even a bit of dust in there, you know, um, sort of, we'll, 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 we'll sort out that, because the way it's designed, definitely dust will get in there and kind of uh, fill up that little spot. Um, road dust and that kind of thing is what I'm talking about now, not, uh, not house dust, but... Um, yeah, it's kind of a weird little thing with those little little slots. Um, I presume in the real one there would have been uh, holes for water to, you know, any rainwater gone up and over and it would just fall out. But it uh, just does look kind of weird. I thought them pretty weird anyway. Um, excuse this bit flapping over and back. I'll show you that in a second. Um, we also fitted on the back piece. Uh, on the back piece then there was uh, three little um, uh, hatches shall we say you can have all three open but I decided to just to have going to have one open the middle one we well, having that open then you can see straight into the engine lovely lovely engine now the instructions show you basically glue and the whole are closed but if you're going to go to the bother of uh, producing an engine building the engine up and then painting it of course you're going to show it you know what I mean so uh, why bother going to all the damn all the all the, the the work involved in it and then covering it all up um also here you have to build up these little uh, i'd say they're storage boxes there at the back and then working on the wheels a couple of really little fiddly parts there on those uh some very very fine detail the instructions were kind of hard to follow um i'll show you it turned out to be quite easy, but the instructions, to, were, 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 I found them a bit, uh, a bit sort of hard to follow. You know, down here, there's a little slot there, and you have this piece here. Now, after you, after I've done it and looked at the instructions, I said, oh yeah, yeah, it, it, it's basically straightforward. But when I was trying to figure everything out, um, it wasn't that straightforward, shall we say. Um, the drawing could have been a bit a bit closer showing you a little bit more detail as uh, into how these things actually fitted in but um, yeah I had no problems for a finish but again like I said it just it, it just took a couple of dry go sort of dry fits for it to sort of figure out how to fit those wheels there's uh, it's not just sort of the, the two parts for the wheel uh, here we go sorry it's not just to say the two parts for the wheel there's an extra little linkage system that goes in here on the back it links on to the, um, the suspension on the front it goes straight in so I presume it's got something to do with the uh, with the steering mechanism even though you can't uh, you can't uh, articulate the wheels but they were, they were, they were pretty, pretty <laughs> they were pretty nice indeed um, I'm after leaving this door off uh, purely just to show you how all this is going to sort of fit in together and, and by the whole purpose of leaving the, the light on like I'm, my hand is over that now to 
sort of because there's going to be a turret there um, but you'll be able to see in and see all the nice work inside there you know when that's all painted up um, this hatch here is going to be open I'm going to leave this hatch open there's a little flap uh, this door is going to be open the driver's flap is going to be up yes the driver's flap that's what I'm calling it and also this door here is going to be open so when I display it it's going to have a couple of doors open uh, this is the door here for this side we we'll just uh, pop it on there it's going to be open like that so you can, you can get into you can get to see all the nice uh, detailed work inside in it um, you know like I said what's the point in having a full interior on a kit and then filling everything up I don't like that idea whatsoever if you're going to go to the bother of doing all the work damn right I'm going to show it off okay uh, the wheels very very nice nicely molded some lovely detail on those okay as you can see there the thread detail on those tires is very very nice indeed um, I haven't them fitted because obviously I want to paint them as a, paint them separately and uh, if they're fitted you never get painting around there either and everything is sort of um, done for painting's sake and I don't want to go fitting them and taking them off and fitting them and taking off they're not uh, sort of fitting from one side you've got to actually kind of press them up and over and in now uh, they do fit I have tried them when they were not on the kit but uh, I don't want to go um, putting any stress on the kit so therefore I'm going to leave them off until they are painted so to get it to that stage uh, a couple of tools as well and a couple of handles and things um, to get it to that stage quite fiddly because it's so small and my hands are you know I'm old and uh, I haven't got the uh, the manual dexterity of a young fella I seriously don't and uh, I just found it fiddly. I was using a lot, a lot of uh, a lot of fitting pieces on using the tweezers and things like that. But um, like I said, everything was nicely marked as into where it fitted. Uh, the the detail was beautiful. The the, um, the, the moulding is just so so crisp and uh, beautiful. It's going to be a lovely kit for a finish, and no problems with the build. And that's how you know people look for the build. Uh, no problems, no problems whatsoever. Just be careful when you're putting on the um, this front section here. Um, make sure that the, before you put on these things here, that your sides are well pushed into the the sides there. I mean, I have a perfect fit down there, and that one then fitted perfectly at that side. But at this side here, there's a slightest little gap. You see it? Ever so slight little gap. And then that created problems then when I was fitting the uh, the, 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 the cowling around it. Um, it didn't quite fit so neatly. So, just be careful with that front piece. And that's the only thing that I, that, that I had problems with. But uh, I blame all the parts in the one bag, if you remember that, on the, um, on the unboxing. All the parts, all, all, all sprues were in the one bag. And the big sprue had, had basically bold so that would have caused uh, pressure then on little parts like that that's what I'm convinced of anyway and I'm sticking to that okay whether it's true or not I don't care I'm blaming them not me <laughs> not my inadequacies so anyway let's we're on now to the turret okay Um there's two guns to be made up if it's sort of a machine gun and uh, actually both of them could be classed as machine guns even though one is a sort of a, I think it's a 30 millimeter cannon. Uh, it gives all the instru all the detail. Or is it 50 millimeter cannon? I just might as well shut up now until I go to the start and find out what it is. Um, armament. It's a 25 millimeter gun. Okay, so it's a 25 millimeter cannon, and um, I presume that that would be a rapid fire. Is it? Uh, single shot now or is it a magazine well it looks to have a breach so it'll be sort of a single shot so it is a kind of a, a 25 millimeter artillery piece really yeah once it's single shot and you're loading in a single round each time it will be classed as a uh, you know a, to 
me it would be classed as an, an artillery piece type thing rather than a uh, machine gun. Machine gun would be box in other words, the, the, the mechanism of reloading a new round each time that would be the machine part of it. But uh, we've two guns to make anyway and then we've gone fitting them to the inside of the uh, of the turret. Now in the unboxing I showed that a sprue comes with two turrets on it but if you look at the uh, sprue map it, one is blanked out so obviously you only use one one is used for obviously the sprues are used for different versions of this um, of this vehicle and this is the F version of it so I'm going to walk away on the turret and uh, see that there isn't very much to the turret there isn't very very much to it at all I'll get the, the turret fixed last couple of little bits and pieces onto the gun and uh, basically that's it so we're in the we're in the home stretch the home stretch so I'm going to get it finished off tonight as in the build and uh, tomorrow night we'll have a quick look at that and see how everything works out for that and then we'll be doing the unboxing of the figures and getting them all sorted so you know not as uh, extensive as the Tamiya 88 as in you know there isn't really that many parts um, even though for a finish there's what 57 steps some steps are only putting on one or two pieces um, other manufacturers would have probably with the same kit have it down to maybe 10 steps so uh, like I said I mean a couple of the steps there they're, 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 you're putting on one or two pieces it doesn't it's sort of a waste of a step to be quite honest with you but it's nicely detailed and uh, apart from that one little bit there where I had a problem with the wheels and it was just I just thought a, a much clearer picture would have been would have been much easier but once I figured it out I mean it, it was quite obvious then at that stage so you know you might look at it yourself and say oh yeah yeah that fits in there straight away and you might get it straight away but for me I, it took me a couple of uh, couple of dry fits and different things before I actually spotted what goes on to where it just it wasn't as clear shall we say so that's it for the build update um, we've got the vehicle part of it made we're on now to the turret so thank you very much for uh, watching this video don't forget to give it the old thumbs up or the thumbs down that's up to you I'm not going to tell you what to do but like always I say if you are going to give the thumbs down let me know why you're not going to but let me know why anyway so anyway lads I'll catch you in the next one stay safe enjoy your modeling uh, be nice to one another and uh, have a nice have a nice day it's really very American out of me and I'm Irish fiddly day have a nice day but anyway do 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 have a nice day enjoy your modeling like I said it's a, it's a hobby for me it's a hobby it's not a profession and um, as you can see from the uh, the quality of my videos is definitely not a profession uh, I won't give up my day job <laughs> but I enjoy what I do and that, that that's the main thing and there's loads and loads of us out there that are, are hobby modelers and um, we don't strive for perfection we strive for the best that we can do and what's wrong with that? Nothing. So anyway lads, until the next time, stay safe. Go out and buy yourself a kit. Build it and enjoy it. This is John signing off. See you in the next one lads. Take care.